Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. My name is Savings Fashionista. She is I. I am her. And you have arrived to Nista's Nation. And over here we do mainly things fragrances. There are times where I will throw in a little bit of this or a little bit of that. But today we are here to talk about a designer and a niche fragrance. All right. So I decided to do this because as I ventured off from my favorite brand which is bun number nine I got into some other designer or niche brand fragrances and I have found myself comparing them to a particular bun fragrance so I decided to come up with this little thing this or that the same or not all right so in this or that I'm gonna tell you if I prefer this or if I prefer that as well as I'm going to talk about the fragrance notes and I'm going to talk about my experience with the fragrance. And I'm also going to give my opinion of if it's the same or not the same or similar, if that makes sense. All right, so let's just get right into it. And so since the grand dawn of my fragrance collection is bun number nine, let's get started with bun number nine. All right, so this is my very first bun fragrance very first one i want to say it was like 2007 2008 in that time frame so this is my very first one and um it was released in 2007 this was the 28th bun fragrance that miss laurie's released and um it is considered to be a cypress floral and um, according to Google, a cypress floral is a mixture of bergamot, jasmine, rose, patchouli, tree moss, labadon, and some animal notes. All right, and the other fragrance is also considered to be a cypress floral. So right off the bat, when I was doing my research, I'm like, okay, there is some similarity here. So let's talk about the fragrance notes. The top notes in bun number nine are rhubarb, pink pepper, lily of the valley. Heart notes are rose, patchouli. Base notes are raspberry and amber. All right, now my experience with the fragrance, the longevity. Longevity to me, it means how long does this fragrance last when you do a skin to nose contact? That's my description of longevity. So the longevity is six to eight hours. It does require, I mean, if you're going to work, from home to work, you're fine. But if you're going to do like happy hour or, lunch, I mean, dinner or something like that and you want to freshen up, you're definitely going to have to refresh this. All right, so it lasts from six to eight hours. The projection, the projection in my rating means how long does this fragrance project off my skin where I can sit idly and I can smell this fragrance without doing a skin to nose contact. And I would say maybe about an hour. All right. The Siage, I would give it about a 4 out of a 10. The Siage could be low to moderate, depending on the environment that you're in. And the gender profile is unisex. My opinion, if I had to make sense out of what the fragrance class would, it would be a woody, spicy floral. And the brand class, of course, of course is niche. All right, so this is the Bryant Park by Bun Number 9. Now, Bryant Park by Bun Number 9. When I got this, it was during the winter months. Oh my God, this stuff is so pretty. By the way, this is like my second bottle and I've gone through tons of samples. This is so pretty. Definitely off the top, you're gonna get that spice. So if you are a pink pepper girl, this is the fragrance. You're gonna get that spice and that rhubarb. Both of those are very spicy notes. But once it dies down, if you understand how rose, the right rose and patchouli mixes well together because you know patchouli is still a very earthy scent. And um, I've never been a big lover of rose. This is probably my first rose somewhat fragrance, but it is not a full on rose because it has so much spices in it that can take you through the longevity of the fragrance. And then you get that little twist and tartiness of the raspberry. It's just beautiful. Hands down, this is beautiful. And I have spoke about this before. I thought that it was really only winter fall fun. But I wore this one night years ago 
on a girls night out I got with some of my colleagues and I wore this in the summertime at night I got so many compliments so many I mean even sitting at the bar area you know women and guys were stopping by you smell good what's that what you have on so this is the Bryant Park by bun number nine and this is such a nostalgia because it was in that zone where I was in grad school in my 20s just really just thinking I was that girl so <laughs> it leaves a really fun memory all right so the um, fragrance that I just recently purchased this year being mean recently either the end of last year or this year I think it was this year but anyways my cousin recommended this she told me how beautiful it was she told me that um, I think you would probably like it so I went ahead went online pressed the button and I bought it I only got the 30 mil I did not want to go too hard because this was a blind buy for me I did not want to go too far in because I know um, Tom Ford can be overly strong and I'm just not really at that point I was not really a rose girl so this is the Rose Prick. Rose Prick was released in 2020, and it is also a Cypri floral. All right, so let's talk about the fragrance notes. The fragrance notes, um, the top notes are Sichuan pepper, turmeric. The hearts notes are May rose, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose. The base notes are patchouli, tonka bean. The longevity is eight hours to eternity. This stuff lasts all day all day the projection is going to project off you anywhere from two to three hours this is a heavy hitter for some reason tom ford sticks on my skin like glue for some reason i don't know why and it's not even my favorite brand but it sticks to me the siage is about a six plus i mean this is going to get in your surroundings nose and it may be stuck with them at least half of the day it's just that strong the gender profile is unisex the fragrance class I would rate this as a woody spicy floral if I had to make sense out of the fragrance class and the brand class is designer Tom Ford is a designer brand but it's top-notch all right you guys when I first wore this the first thing that I did wrong I sprayed entirely too much of this fragrance on so much so till it almost kind of gave me like a little nauseous like headache I did the same thing with the lost cherry so the next few times that I wore, I went very lightly. I did plus points, one, two, three, four, five, six, and I had hubby to spray it like on the back of my clothing area. And that's all I did. Still very pretty, not as strong as it was, but it was much more tolerable. The fragrance is not a bad fragrance. I don't dislike how it smells. I just dis, it's, Tom Ford too much for me. I mean, if I have to say so. It is just too much for my sinuses. They don't like it. It's too strong. So, um, it's a little different. In my opinion, it is not as pretty as the Bryant Park because it does not give you this overly feminine touch, in my opinion. And I could just be biased to Bryant Park. However, if I had to pick a fragrance for my man to wear or add to one of his fragrances it would definitely be the rose prick it doesn't say that there's oud in here but i do think that tom ford sneakily put some secret type of oud drop in all of their fragrances which is very authentic so you have to really be for the very dominating abrasive overpowering you have to like that type of fragrance profile to really even appreciate tom ford so um she's just a little more woody or more spicy than i would like her to be but at the same time it provides that rosy floral note because it has like three roses in it that it balances it balance the fragrance out if that's what your profile is so needless to say i will continue to wear rose prick but if I had to choose a this or that Brian Park would definitely be the this for me I want this this one this is my preference to answer if it's the same or not 
No, it's not the same because it gives off two total different airs. You know, it has that rose note, but they're different. They both stand alone in my opinion. Are they similar? Yes, they are similar. And what makes them similar is the rose note as well as the spiciness. So if I had to put them in a fragrance class, the research shows it, they both go in the same fragrance class. They are woody, spicy florals. However, this is my preference. This is my girl. And like I said, I could just be biased, but no, not really. Tom Ford is just a more stronger perfume house, in my opinion. Like I said, you have to wear it very sparingly if you have any type of issues with sinuses. I do not recommend blind buying anything Tom Ford sales because, like I said, if you have some issues or you just don't like those overwhelming fragrances, Tom Ford is going to give you that and so much more. But they are both very beautiful fragrance. So I want to thank you guys for coming back to the channel. Please leave below if you have experienced either one of these fragrances. And I got something on my bottle. I don't like my bottles to get messy. Um, either one of these fragrances or if you have both, let me know what's your preference. Or let me know what is one of your favorite rose woody spicy fragrances. So I want to thank you again for coming back to the channel. And do not forget, you, yes you, you are great. Bye-bye.